I'd say they're in my top three for local fish in the Chesapeake Bay and Potomac River. White perch, striped bass, and I'd say the blue cats are right there. It's a very white, uh, flaky, mild fillet. Um, they're also good baked, grilled. Of course, we're in the country. We like to deep fry everything. So uh, um, it's, it, you can pretty much do anything with them that you want. Most people have this conception that catfish are bottom feeders, which some types are, um, but not the blue cats. Blue catfish were introduced in the Chesapeake Bay, down in the James River actually, back in the 1970s as a sport fish. These fish fight. It's, it's a predator. It's working day and night. It's fighting the currents, all natural diet out there. So it has a really great flavor to it with a lot of protein and a lot of muscle meat to it. Uh, they're also a little tricky, depending on the season, depending on the wind. It really makes it a, a bit of a challenge, but also a challenge that these watermen are up to, to go after every single day. All right, how y'all doing? There's no, like, date season. It's 365 days a year. Now we do have some slow months, but pretty much it's as close to a year-round fishery as you can get, uh, weather dependent. We'll, we'll figure out something. So you just got to kind of roll with it. I've been in a boat since I was in diapers, and I actually got my nickname from Rockfish. So that's how I got to be called Rocky. Okay, okay. What's your real name? Uh, William. William. Okay. <laughs> All right. We sort the fish in the river by size. Yep. And, and tub them up in 100 pound tubs they're laying down. I'm a fourth generation waterman. It's usually something you grow up into. Uh, there's definitely people that get into it that don't grow up into it, but uh, but most most things are generational and has been here on the Potomac and Chesapeake Bay for, for many generations. This is a fish that's coming out of our local waterways, harvested by local watermen. So it's a hyper local fish. So he'll take them out of the water this morning, gives us fully iced up fish this afternoon. We cut it tonight and it could be in storage tomorrow morning, under 24 hours. And it doesn't need to come from Alaska, California, you know, when we have such good fish right here in the backyard. It's a beautiful fish. I take uh, a lot of pride and satisfaction knowing that the giant store 10 miles right up the road is, is serving fresh local seafood that's harvested right here in, in this community. Working with partners like that who are excited about promoting a local fishery, supporting our local fishermen, uh, working waterfronts, and doing something good for the environment while providing a sustainable, healthy protein is really, uh, makes us feel good about our jobs every day. I, it's just, it's just something you, you, once the salt water gets in your veins, it's hard to get rid of it. And uh, I worked outside the river when I first got out of high school. I, I got a job. I drove a truck for nine years and still fished a little bit. And I just, I just, I had to, I, could, I couldn't kick it, but, uh, but I, I do take pride in my work. You have to take pride in your work. I would never sell a fish or a crab that I wouldn't take home to eat myself. So if it's not up to my standards, it, it doesn't go to market.